Okay, I'm back again. There's um, another beer that I'm wanting to try, which is Hassel Rodder. These two that look like F's or L's are actually S's. Um, I believe this is a German premium pills. It's at 4.9%. Uh, and we're going to do the same as we usually do. We'll try you, take it off, put it in the machine, and then we'll review it. I'm going to do it in two parts this time. So I'm going to put this in now. It's Friday afternoon. And I'm going to come back um, early evening where this should then be at 3 degrees. So this keg's been in the fridge at 3 degrees for about a week. Because um, I knew I was going to put it in last week. It does have a short day on it. And when I say short, I mean I've gone, it's gone past. So it says uh, 3rd 23 and we're now in 5th 23. And I got it in January. So, or one of 23. Um, I would read a bit of the blurb, but it's all in German. Um, German is a little bit sketchy. I know that there's a, a warning, um, should be drunk within 30 days. It says, it says on, um, on this other side. Um, has a run of premium pills on the wide one dung is glass laufen befluen si das glass zu two thirds mit beer on zu one third mit schwarm which i think means fill your glass with two thirds beer one th one third foam so that is what we'll do later on um, and we will just crack on and, and put it in so first thing i'm going to do Move that to one side so I can open these doors. Open both doors up and lift these levers up. This will then pull out the old keg, which is normally quite wet, but that seems fine. So this keg is empty, that was from the last review. It's worth five pound in tokens if you send it back to Perfect Draft. So I'd recommend keeping as many as possible and when you're ready to put an order in, send these off the week before. And that way your tokens only last, uh, I think, six months. So if you leave it as late as possible until you're ready to order beers, they're not going to um, go out of date and get wasted. Um, so when you press, you've, you've released your keg, you are now releasing the line. So you press this button, you can then pull that keg out. Did have a little bit of beer in. You can then... Um, Bring in the new keg, there's an arrow which says pull, I don't know how easy that is to see. And all you need to do is pull that black plastic up, you can then break that black plastic off. Which then reveals this line. So this line as normal says open here, you can pull it up. This then pulls out this line. There are bits on this keg, but don't worry about that. As, as, all, as long as this is clean, you're fine. So there's an arrow here. And you just want to push that down until that goes through and it's in. And then push this in until it clicks. And you heard that click. And then uh, with this, you're just going to place it in and push hard until it clicks like that. When it's clicked, you're fine. You then use this as a marker to line up with here. You place it in, so it's in there. Clip it back down. Now, when this shuts, it's, you'll hear it purging to register it's in the machine. You've got 30 days here, and it's gone in at 11 degrees, and it shows this keg's full. As we drink it, the keg will go down. As the days go by, the number of 30 days will go down. And I'll be back soon when this 11 degrees drops to 3 degrees. So, I'm going to leave it now for maybe four hours 
and I'll come back and we'll see what it's done. Okay, I'm back. It is five hours after the previous clip. It took about an hour and a half for this to go down. I was in the room when I watched it go from four down to three degrees. Um, and this is probably one of my first videos where I've actually been patient enough to wait. So maybe I should do more on a Friday afternoon or a Saturday morning, ready for a Saturday afternoon. Um, so we'll just crack on. We will pour it as, um, as it said on the back. So, just pull a little bit through, that pulls the beer through the line and then it shouldn't be as, as fizzy and as much of a head. We're going to put a third head, two thirds beer as it said on the back of the keg. So just tilt the glass and pull the beer through and hopefully we get something half decent. So it looks like I've poured my glass a little bit too full. And it's looking a bit more 50-50 or 60-40 rather than two thirds, one third. Yeah, towel to dry that off so it doesn't drip everywhere. Okay, let's have a look at what we've got. Not actually too bad, is it? It's two thirds, one third is what we're aiming for, which is what many German, Belgium, Dutch countries go for. The the head um, protects the beer, and the beer is obviously the most important part. So it's a uh, two and a little bit finger white head. You can see that that head is quite thick, kind of like a good ice cream, it's almost sitting over top of that glass. It is a, a dark amber in colour, it is freezing cold, slow moving carbonation as on most of these beers that are from this machine. Not too much has, has stuck to my glass. Yeah, slow moving carbonation. Um, it is a pilsner, so it's a, like a German lager. You can smell the malt in here. And it's quite wheaty. Um, not in the sense like a wheat beer is, that you could smell cloves and bananas. That's not coming through on this. a slightly unique taste about that as well so if you are used to drinking normal lagers on here Corona um, uh, American stuff Budweiser it's not that sort of lager um, I think they call it Pilsner because it is more of a German lager and it's got that German wheat German malt in there um, so it has different characteristics Obviously it's still fizzy, still looks the same, but it has a different taste. I'm struggling to pick up what that taste is. It's almost like there is a hint of lime on the back end. It's quite dry crisp um, there's a um, bitterness coming through on this one it's 
quite strange actually because the bitterness is there it hits you in the, in the full mouth and on the end you feel quite crisp and dry which makes you want to take another mouthful to almost moisten your mouth but you've just had a drink so it should be moist um, I don't think um, it being out, out of date by two months has affected this I've not had it before but it doesn't taste like gone off beer it tastes absolutely fine and I imagine it's fine they're just best before date so if you've got a few in the garage lying around they should be okay to drink obviously they're the ones that are more higher percent this is only 4.9 but as soon as you get you know 8% they tend to be better to be drinking um, slightly past the date rather than things which are 4 or 5% Yeah, it's got a very bitter taste to it. And it's hard to put my finger on what that taste is. So, um, you know, after them few mouthfuls, obviously the head's gone down, there's some lacing on the glass. It's it's sticking to the glass on the way down, which is always a good sign. It tastes a bit metallic. Um, I know this was on short date at, at one point, I think in March, I bought this in January, in March I think it was, um, it was about £23-£24 a keg. I paid £34 for this keg. So when I rate this in a minute, it's against the £34 price. Um, and I have to compare that against other stuff like the Budweiser that I just took out which were £20, which is nearly half the price. So this has to be twice as good to rate, you know, money for, for taste, for experience. And I don't see it being twice as good as what the Budweiser was. Um, I would have it again. I'm not saying it's a bad beer. Um, but for £34, there's probably other beers that I'll be trying and I want to get through the full range rather than repeat orders and repeat beers. Um, yeah, very, very dank, very bitter on that back end uh, with a slight metallic taste. And for that, I've got to give it uh, a 6 out of 10 for me, as, as well as the price thing. Uh, I'm not sure what, what your experiences are with this, what you've what you taste, any notes coming through, because it is hard to put your taste buds into words on, on beers that can catch you a bit off guard. Um, so if you can pinpoint what that flavour was, that I'm saying is almost metallic, um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Um, if you like videos um, like this beer review, I might start doing other reviews on beers. Um, let me know in the comments if you want snack reviews with beer reviews let me know in the comments uh, stick a like on it so it helps with the algorithm if you're not subscribed press the bell icon subscribe all helps and um, keeps you motivated to make more videos cheers